Well, welcome to the ranch today. So today, it's not a workout video. We're kind of doing a morning routine video, and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about the helicopter, some new equipment we've got on there for the brush bullet. So if y'all don't know, if y'all been following me, y'all know my invention, the brush bullet, which kills invasive trees, and it's really taken off. So we got a new pro some products to work on today, a new applicator and I will drag you along for that. We got to run the town, get a new GPS, and I want to show you some things in town where we, you know, we ship all of our stuff out, but it's raining here. It's supposed to rain. It's rain, been raining all night. It's supposed to rain and snow, rain and snow, rain and snow for four days. So if you want to put a video out, it's going to be indoors today. So, uh, so yeah, so here's where we're at. I just got through working out. So this is my workout area here. I'm sure y'all probably seen it in the videos before, but this is kind of where I work out in my hangar. Well, what I wanted to do, so this is kind of like the morning routine. Uh, what I said I was doing, I was, um, I get up at five, work out from five till seven, and then Bonnie kicks me out. Bonnie's behind the camera right now because my camera messed up. But, but like I said, it's gonna rain and snow today for the next four days it's supposed to rain and snow so i'm doing the inside job so what i want to do today is take you to town i got to get a gps and i want to show you where we do all the brush bullet stuff where we ship it all out and then i want to bring you back these are some new uh, applicators that a buddy of mine developed he's a helicopter pilot and applicator he developed for me so we're testing them and so the few things i want to mess around with this one i got one on the other side I've got uh, the Can-Am. Come here, look at the Can-Am. I've been working on it. I need to finish it up. I've got the uh, new windshield in here, a new windshield there. I got to put the, the, the top back on it, and then I'm going to put a, a, a comm system in there so when me and Easton or me and Bonnie, when we're in there jacking around, uh, we can hear each other because it is kind of loud. And what else I got to do in here? Oh, I've got, um, we broke, broke a hammer in this gun here. So I got to replace a hammer in this gun here. So I'm going to replace that hammer today. Get that done. Hope today, tomorrow. And yeah. So, all right. So. My workout's over with, so now we're going to go eat breakfast and then get dressed and go to town. Okay, so we're still on the, um, the morning routine. So like I said, my workout's done. Bonnie's kicked me out. She, Bonnie's working out now. So then I come in here for my breakfast or my protein. So I use, um, I feel kind of stupid doing this because it's, it's like I'm advertising for people. I've got no sponsors. So Fair Life, I like this because it's high in protein. High in fat, and it tastes good. I don't know if you've ever had Fair Life, but it lasts forever too. Like it never expires. They must put like formaldehyde or some crap like that in there. Um. Oh, speaking of crap, so I did buy a new tractor yesterday. A new. It's a John Deere 130 horsepower tractor to replace the burnout tractor. So I did. Uh, yeah, I went and looked at it. It's a used tractor, so the county, Lipscomb County, which is the county just, just north of us here, uh, they traded in their tractors, had a couple thousand hours on it, so I bought one of them, so that's about as much. For me, tractor shopping is about as much fun as putting my nuts in a meat grinder. Yeah, it was painful. All right, so now, Okay, so now for me, scoop this protein, whey protein. So this, so I, I'm a hard gainer, so that means I can't gain weight very good, and I, I really struggle holding my weight. So this is a max gainer. So uh, one scoop of this is um, 52 grams of protein, uh, 61 grams of carbs, uh, 5 grams of fat, and 500 calories. So then plus the milk, and then I do, so that's chocolate, I like chocolate. And then I do peanut butter, one scoop of this. This is eight grams of, I think that's, this must be, I think this is two scoops, so I do one scoop. 
So two scoops would be eight grams of protein and something fat, eight grams of fat. So this is a, like a good protein. And then here's my latest deal. I love this stuff. Have you ever have you ever tried this element stuff? So this is essentially your potassium. It's just salts is what it is. This is chocolate, by the way. So chocolate, I got to put chocolate in here. So chocolate, chocolate, chocolate on chocolate. And because uh, I'm I'm bad to cramp. So whenever I'm, so then this is all in here goes in the grinder. Here, yeah. Hope this doesn't break. All right, well, one smoothie. So this is this is my breakfast. Um, I've been doing this for I don't know. Years and years and years. I've been doing. I've been doing a long time. So this is my breakfast. So what I'll do is I'll take this, and I'll take it with me upstairs, uh, jump in the shower, and I drink this in and out of the shower, and get dressed, and then we will go to town. Um, Y'all go with me. Okay. All right. Here we go. Cheers. So we're headed to town. Oh man, I got getting caught by a train. So. Um, Bonnie said I gotta be back by lunch. I got we gotta haul ass. So I've got we gotta get the GPS picked up, gotta run by the bank, gotta get packages. So we since when you live out in the country like this, you kinda I get a long list of stuff I gotta get whenever I get to town. So we're gonna have to hook around. I wanna show you all when we get down to um, Canadian Animal Health and Nutrition, that's where we ship everything out of the brush bullet so i want to show you all that so y'all kind of wrap your mind around what that part of the deal is so i'm splashing through the mud now i gotta wait for a freaking train so with these trains let me turn it around here yep so the trains go right through the ranch here so this train's hooking it but a lot of times these trains stop and block us in here for hours and so this is the only way in and out, unless you have a helicopter. So we get caught by the train quite a bit. Okay, yeah, so what happens is, is the train will stop. I mean, literally like the engine will be right there. I mean, I can chunk a rock and hit the engine and they'll stop and sit there for two hours and they'll wait for another train and then they'll hook two trains together and then they'll drive off. And so they'll be here, they'll have, the, have it blocked for three hours. They've been getting better about it. I call them every time. I, I mean, everybody's like, oh, it's against the law. Well, it's not. I found out, I, you know, I always heard this law, it's like they can only block it for 15 minutes. Well, that's bull because it's, it's a state law and they're federal, so they don't abide by state laws. They abide by federal laws. So. Yeah, so that stinks. So, yeah, so I'm not a, not a fan of the train. So this is a low water crossing. Of course, the water table's way down. It's coming up, but I've been seeing a pig right down there. Yeah, you can see where he rooted up a little bit. But see, the, well, the water's almost here. It'll fill up pretty fast. All right. All right, here we go. We're headed to town. So to go to town, it's about four and a half miles of dirt road. And then we've got about 11 miles of pavement. So we'll uh, ease on in. All right, so you're my favorite uh, UPS man, you know that. Yes, sir. Yeah, so this is the man that brings us all the stuff. So, or ships all the stuff. I was about to say, road. picks it all up. And the brush bowl, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, well, get your to work. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, cool deal. Good job. Yeah, no, I don't think she had anything. I know she had some for Eddie, and I told her, I gave her her number, his number, and told her to call her. Okay. Sounds good. Getting well, some good rain down there? Yeah, we'll get it's muddy. Is it? Yeah, it's muddy. That, I went over Somerville, that little bridge. Yeah. There. That little river's filling up already. Wait, they said this just getting started. Wait, wait for the snow. Good. Good stuff. Good. We need it. I'll take it. Thanks. I need a new hat.
You need to buy, you need to bring me a new hat. I can do that. I'll tell Bonnie. Right. Sounds good. <laughs> See ya. See ya. So this is this is a feed store, but this is where Wes's uh, place is, and Wes is a partner on uh, Brush Bullet. So shipping stuff out. We're busy. This is what it looks like. So these are the 20 pound buckets here. The, um, so the 20 pound buckets are like the most affordable. And so like they're more for the applicators, like the serious applicators like me. So in the helicopter, I'll do two or three of these a day when I'm out putting them out. So that, that's what the 20 pound buckets are for. And then you've got all of these two pounders. So we sell a lot of the two pounders. These are like for the people that are just trying it out or the ranchers that um, just have a handful to do and or maybe they're putting them out by hand or they're using the guns. I like the two pounders. So what I'll do is I'll get the 20 pounder bucket and then I'll fill up a bunch of the two pounders and I use the two pounders. So then I, most of the stuff that we use holds two pounds. So two pounds is enough to do like 300 trees. So I'll use the two pounders that I filled up out of the 20 pound uh, deal. Now, one of the things, the most popular thing that we sell is this kit. So this kit comes with a gun, air compressor, and a one pounder, and then the tanks. So these are the tanks. Like this tank here is good. Once it's full, it's good for like almost 900 rounds. These are quite a bit smaller. So this is a one pound deal. It pours uh, into the, uh, the gun really easy. So they're pretty fun to have around. And so then this is like the air compressor and this is the gun right there. So the air compressor, the way it works is like say if you're in a side by side, you hook the air compressor up to your battery and then while you're driving around you and maybe somebody else, you're shooting trees, so you're making like a 200 foot swath. The air compressor is, is airing your tanks back up to 3000 PSI. And it takes about 10 minutes to do that. So you're out there shooting, 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 shooting. You have an extra tank, it's getting full. And uh, somebody goes dry, swap the tank out and then throw another one back on the air compressor. So you're completely self-reliant. Uh, so it, um, it works great. So the way these bullets are not like paintball, these are solid bullets. So we make them on the ranch and they, they're designed to dissolve when it rains. Like right now in any of them that are put out, cause y'all can, you can hear the rain coming down now. They're dissolving as we speak. So yeah, that's how it works. And then we got these little cheap guns here. These are like little super cheap, little pump plastic guns. They're, they, they're fine for shooting just small stuff and they work good. But yeah, so so whenever you go to brushbullet.com and you order some of this stuff for um, your tree, you know, whether it be junipers or mesquite trees or Russian olives or, or yucca or choya, whatever you're, whatever you're trying to get, get rid of, when you go online, you order it, you order it straight from us. So we, <clears throat> we make it, I make it on the ranch it comes here and it's shipped out of here. You saw all the UPS trucks shipping it out. We got a late start uh, last summer, so you gotta get EPA labeling. So labeling, so if you look here, like all this stuff here, this is your labeling. Now we got labeling inside too that tells you, you know, how to use the product and all that stuff. So you get EPA labeling done first. That takes a year. And then from there, you get each state labeling done. So we did Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Kansas, right off the bat. Now we're waiting on Florida and all the Western states. So next spring or next come February, we should have all that done. And uh, yeah, we're getting tons of freaking calls. This, everybody is like, this is the greatest idea ever. This is super popular and it is, and it works great. It works really good. These trees are extremely invasive. Mesquite trees are hard to kill. Uh, junipers are really hard to control. 
all of them are hard to control, so we need an easy and affordable way to work on them and get ahead of them. And that's exactly what we've done with Brush Bullet. Brush, these things, it works great. So, um, but yeah, but what I was getting at is we make it all on the ranch and we don't have dealers. We have applicators and we need more applicators but we try to keep it all in-house to keep it affordable for the rancher because everything that a rancher does is like, well, you've got a middleman and it runs the cost up and you know, at some point it just, it, we can't afford it anymore. And so one of the things we're working on is the drone. So this is one of the drones. I don't think that'd be the drone drone, but that's an, a version of the drone. And so what I'm working on is the new applicator to go on the drone. So the, the applicator weighs like three pounds. You put chemical in it. So you're only carrying five pounds with applicator and two pounds of chemical. And that's enough to do 300 trees. So we're looking for a drone that's an affordable drone that can run for 30 minutes and get to 300 trees. And I've got some crazy ideas I want to show you when we get back to the helicopter, but these are the old applicators and they work pretty good the problem with those are every time you pull the trigger you don't get a bullet every time so if you're in a helicopter you can pull the trigger twice or whatever but if it's on a drone it's not going to work because it's we can't see it so when it's on a drone we need an applicator that works every single time and that's what i've got now and that's what i'm testing now but yeah but yeah so here we are in canadian y'all saw the the ups trucks leaving with a bunch of stuff and this is where, when you order on brushbullet.com, this is where it's packed up and shipped out. Got all the boxes there, and um, yeah. So just so you know, next time you order some Brush Bullet from us, this is where it comes from. So, all right, so now it's super wet outside. I'm gonna get back out to the ranch. I've got my, my helicopter GPS I got picked up here in town, and Easton, oh, Briggs is at the house. So we're gonna go run home, eat lunch, and then let's go look at the helicopter. I wanna show you some stuff on the helicopter. Okay, all right, so we're back here at the ranch. It's raining, it's fixing to really rain. It's getting colder too. Um, we got the GPS in. So this is a track map GPS. So um, I've gotta get this thing figured out how to get it wired into the helicopter. We're trying to, what we're doing with this is we're trying to get an affordable GPS. So this this one actually, they sent the uh, the light bar with me. This is the light bar, because I do a lot of ag work too, which if you're just doing this, you might not need the light bar. So what we're trying to do is find a more affordable GPS, because what we want to do is whenever my applicators are treating the trees, every time you pull the trigger, it drops a waypoint and it, or, or paints the tree so that, know, that way you know you've done the tree. So, so say if you're an applicator, which we need lots of applicators. So say you're an applicator, whether you have a drone or a side-by-side uh, or, -side or a helicopter, the rancher calls you, says, hey, come treat this tree. You do a shape file of the pasture, and then you go out there with your GPS, and every time you pull the trigger, it treats that tree. And then, then you come back to the uh, rancher or the landowner and says, hey, uh, here's the shape file. I treated this many, tr I treated 120,000 trees and I used this much chemical. And then this is the bill. So that's important to be able to have a GPS to be able to, you know, say this is what we did and this is what we didn't do. And then also it's important that every time you pull the trigger, your applicator drops a bullet. So I showed you the applicator there in town at Wes's, and this is the new, newer version that Ryan down there at Wichita Falls, he's an applicator that he designed and printed for me. So I got one on each side, I've been testing it, flying through the pasture, shooting out both sides. I've got two triggers. Um, let me grab some gloves here. So, so follow me over here. So, so I, I've kind of got two triggers set up. Now this is just kind of temporary, but it's working pretty good. So can you see in here where I've got a trigger here? So I got, so this is my right trigger, left trigger. So that's pretty cool. So when I'm flying, I can go, I can go left or right, left, right, left, right, left, 
right, left, or both of them at the same time. These things, Ryan designed these with a little RC battery in them. I haven't got them to run down yet, but we the, the ultimate design will be, this isn't the final design, but it's where you can just come in, you run it all day, you don't need any power from the helicopter. You come in, you plug it in, charge it up, and then it'll run all day again the next day. That's the goal. And then also, the other part of the goal is, is to put this on a drone. So this thing weighs nothing. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's super light, less than three pounds. But what, I'm, what my, my main goal is, is to get to where we have um, like green on brown cameras or uh, sp spot and spray cameras. It, they all exist, but we just don't have it dialed up for this. And what, essentially what it is, it's a camera that you train using AI to recognize a tree. So say you train it to say, this is a, this is a cedar tree, this is a mesquite tree, this is yucca, this is a Russian olive, whatever species of tree you're going after. Well, if you got the camera mounted on here and it's looking straight at an angle, when it sees that um, tree, that th the juniper, then it turns, essentially like turns it on. So then it sees it, turns it on. When it doesn't see it, it turns it off. Turns it on, turns it off. So once that's done in a helicopter, then all I gotta do is follow my GPS and, and fly a straight line. And I've got it set at eight foot wide. And it's sitting, turning on and off by itself. Once we get that dialed in, then you throw it on a drone. And then the drone, you fly the drone flies a grid of say three or four foot wide grid. Drone takes off. So you got 10 drones and you got a path for them to, for them to fly. So they'll all, you swarm, you swarm your drones, kick them all out and they take off at 15 miles an hour. And as they, every time they go across a tree, it turns the, the system on and then turns it off when they get, get into the clear. On, off, on, off, on, off. That's what we're after. And we're dang close. It all, all the technology exists. We just have to have the applicator that works. And so that's what I'm working on right now is this applicator. And these applicators are working good. I'm testing them a little bit here. Um, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is put, put a little bit in here. And this is some, this is some we just made. So, so this is what they look like. If you can see them there. They're, they're hard little balls and they're solid. There's no powder, there's no dusty powder that we feel, so I just dropped one on the ground and broke it. So the ideal is, is you can, you shoot these in a tree and they survive the impact or they break in the tree and then they drop down to where they're supposed to be. So when you're looking at one from the air, like a tree from the air, when you when you when this thing drops it, all this does is drop it. It's no different than somebody holding their hand out and dropping them out on the ground. This is just more accurate and faster than somebody just dropping them by hand. And it measures with the GPS. And so when you drop one in a tree looking down, I know most people don't get to see the view I get, but a tree from looking down in the tree, it's a giant funnel. It, it all comes in. It's like the branches are like this and it's going like this. And so when you drop it, if you're off by a foot or two, it doesn't matter because it pulls it all in at, at the bottom. I'm gonna pick this up before I step on it. But here's, here's what the inside of the bullet looks like. It looks just like the outside. So, so then what happens is on a day like today, after you've treated them all, they'll lay there. They might lay there all winter, but today anything that I've put out recently will be, um, uh, be starting to melt and they melt fast. Now I say they melt fast. It takes about an inch and a half or two inches to completely melt this whole thing. It, um, they don't just like melt on, you know, half an inch. It takes a little bit and that's the secret to them is they melt real slow. If they melted fast they would kill a bunch of grass and they'd spread out on top of the ground. We want them to melt real slow so they sink 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 into the ground and get into the roots and then once they get into the roots they're pulled up by the tree and they're killed from the inside out and that's the secret to this deal. That's what makes that this deal work. All right, let me see if I can hit the hole.
They're coming out looking good. All right, so I'm just kind of watching this thing and make sure it goes, make sure it kicks two out every time. Oops, my bad, that was two. Looking good. Yep. Let me keep going. That's it. Oh. One I got I got one more. I got two more. And we're done. I love it. I love it. I saw one fall out on the ground. Okay. So that's what I'm testing is this deal right here. So when I get in the field and it's not raining, I can hit the trees. So what I'm fixing to do um, is put a pound in each one of these and then calibrate how long it takes if I just hold the trigger down, how long it takes to get one pound put out. Because in some cases, the trees are so thick, you're just flying and you just got both triggers pulled and it's just just putting it everywhere so that's what I'm working on so yeah that's pretty exciting so this is cool so this year so this is where I need y'all's help so I know y'all know some drone people so we've, we've had trouble finding good drone people drone people for some reason are kind of square box people they don't think outside the box and I need a drone that can fly for 30 minutes and carry five pounds. So, or say say seven pounds, because if we get the camera on there, the camera might weigh a couple pounds. So say this weighs three pounds, it'll hold two pounds of that, and then the camera. So let's call it seven pounds. Say if it can call if it can carry seven pounds for 25 or 30 minutes and cost less than ten thousand dollars, I need to talk to that person because I'll have them a new business because that's because I've got a lot of people that can't afford helicopters and don't want to fly helicopters and truthfully I've solved the drone problem with this because it weighs nothing most of the ag drones are trying to carry 25 or 50 pounds and they fly for five minutes it's just stupid you know that I don't know what they're thinking they're going to get done in five minutes but um but this you can we can go a long time and do you know 300 trees right here so that's what I'm after. And so I need, I need y'all's help for that. And then also I need um, help finding applicators. We need applicators. So if you know anybody say, well, Florida's good. Florida, we've got, we should have labeling maybe this week in Florida. And then skip, then skip all the rest of the Eastern states because they don't care. We go Western states have got all the junipers and the, and the Russian olives and the bad trees, the drier, the drier climates. So we need all the Western states, anybody that's got a helicopter or anybody that wants to do it by hand, we need applicators. And that's where you go to the website. And if you, the ideal is, is we get the website set up to where the website is, you're an applicator. And then if you need, if you want a job done, you apply for a, you, you post a job on the website and it sends out the job on the, to all the applicators and then the applicators can, uh, can contact the people that need the jobs done. That's the whole big picture as of today. But we need applicators and uh, you can make a lot of money putting this stuff out. So we don't have any dealers, but if, you do, if you're an applicator, you get a, a dealer price on the, on the chemical so that you can make money off the chemical and then off the application. But I'm telling you, we've got ranchers calling me daily and they've got 10,000 acres they need to do or they got 1,000 acres they need to do. So. It's more than I can do, and there's a lot of helicopters in Texas that are working right now, but yeah, it's a big deal. So that's it, brushbullet.com. We'll see y'all next week. Thanks.